Hey, 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 Tony from Learn Auto Body and Paint, VIP member, welcome to this video. So what we're looking at here is a 2000 BMW Z3 M Edition. I picked it up actually from my, my daughter's classmate's dad. Uh, they're going to the same school and he was moving out of town. So he's like, Tony, you wanna buy the car? Cause he knows I'm into cars. So he gave me an extremely good deal on it. I got it for $13,500. Um, but here's the kicker. You're probably thinking, well, thirteen five dollars is a good price for a 2000 um, BMW. And again, it needed paint on the front. So this is the finished product, pretty much the finished product. You know, it's not done. I never did a complete paint job to it. It was just a touch up, okay? It only has, when I got it, it only had 38,000 miles on it. Very, very low mileage. Uh, he was the second owner, took really good care of it. And we brought it back to life. We made it look really nice again. Um, once we get deeper into the VIP videos, you're gonna see how much work it needed. Uh, we painted the front hood. We painted the front bumper cover. We buffed out and refinished the headlights so they look new again. And I show you exactly you know, how to do this throughout this series as well. Um, we cleaned up the side grills. We didn't paint them, okay? We did paint the quarter panel here, okay? And I didn't buff it yet. It's not finished with the buffing. I painted the trunk, okay, and this top rail because we had some imperfections in here, okay, scratching and stuff. So we did this whole rail. And I said, why not? Let's just do the trunk. Um, we didn't paint this side at all. Okay, we just did that side, driver's side quarter panel. We just did the driver's side quarter panel and the trunk. And after doing it, I was like, man, I should do the rear bumper cover because it really, this bumper cover was painted before and it's a little darker. The color match was really bad. Look, if you could see the difference between these two here, you can't really see the difference. The door I never touched, I never buffed it either. I just painted this quarter panel, but to bring this red out even more, right, we could just buff it out, okay? And I didn't get to the buffing process yet, but when I do, I will be sure to make the videos for VIP. I just wanted to get some of this done for you so you can start watching the series here. All right, so again, I painted the hood. The door I did not touch. Okay, if you look at the mirror, the mirror looks a little darker than the door or the hood. So they did an excellent color match for me. Um, the, the mirrors and the rear bumper cover look the same color. It looks like it's a darker red. So what I'm gonna do is repaint the rear bumper cover and the mirrors next when I have a chance. Again, this was not a complete paint job where we did everything at once, right? I just wanted to get the front done, get the front done and buff the rest of the car out because it really didn't need a complete paint job. So we're just doing pieces. So we're gonna do the mirrors next and we're gonna do the bumper. You know, I should have done the bumper in the very beginning and I should have done the mirrors in the very beginning. Okay, but I didn't. So, you know, the cool thing about working on your own project, your car, you could do it in pieces at a time. As long as you're not doing any crazy pearls or candies, it's gonna be a lot easier to match. Okay, uh, this back trunk panel here, I plasti dipped with flat plasti dip. Okay, and this is really cool stuff. It's a flat look. If you want to make it look flat, you could do that. But what I'm gonna do is, I just wanted it black to get an idea of how it would look black. Now what I plan to do is peel the plasti dip off because it peels off, okay? I can peel this off, right? And then I'm gonna sand it down and put real gloss black on it. I'm gonna get a smoked out license plate cover for it and I'm also gonna tint these headlights like a smoked tint. So the whole back, you know, the whole back will basically look blacked out and smoked out. That's my look for it. When I paint this rear bumper cover, what I might even do is make it a two-tone. So you know how some of the cars, you got the diffuser in the back where this area is black, right? So that's what I might do here. I might mask out some of this or maybe mask up in here or something and do like a two-tone black where, you know, the black comes in here and then it just 
comes like that or something or maybe even go like that I don't know how that's gonna look but I wanted to do something two-tone like that for the back okay um, here we got some glue from the tape this will come out with uh, with some uh, clay bar or I can get some lacquer thinner on a rag and just hit it quick and then you know finish proceed to buff the car out all right so it's not you know a completely done project but most of the hard work is done. I didn't paint anything on this side, okay, except for the hood, like I said, right? What we can do later is take out this chrome again. I show you how to clean the chrome to make it, you know, look like come out like new, right? What we can do later is take this chrome piece back out, mask it up and reshoot the black in here to a, a new flat black, because that's all that is, is flat black paint, okay, to make that pop even more. Um, I'm also, gonna order a brand new uh, rubberized strip in here around the handle this is all cracking so I could take the handle out replace this piece in here to make that look nice and in the process if I want you know you could paint your handles gloss black you could leave them or you could even paint them the same color as the car that's up to you so that's something that you could do as well you know when doing your project I don't know what I'm gonna do yet okay but uh, that's pretty much it so we did not do the buffing yet and when I do I will record the process for you as you can see it's not urgency to get it buffed out it came out really nice of course there's a little texture to the paint right of course there's a little texture to it because it's a brand new paint job right but if we sand this if we cut this flat with 1500 grit then 2000 it'll take out all the little imperfections like if you look around here you might see a little little uh, dust in it a little fish eye or something but not you know not crazy not crazy at all right so you could always cut and buff a car it could be a year after your paint job you know two years later it all depends on you so that's the overview of this project let's get into the nitty-gritty of the videos hope you enjoy obviously the car is not 100% done but it is drivable right it, it looks really good it does but it's not to the point where I want to put it on display at a show. But we can and we will get to that point. And any steps further that I do on the truck, on the, not the truck. I have a truck that's the next project that I'm going to be working on. I'm thinking about the truck. But anything else that I do to this car, I will document, record, and show you what I do. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you are enjoying VIP. Alright, so we also got a brand new BMW emblem. I cleaned up the grills and we also plasti dipped the grills so they actually look brand new they look awesome right I cleaned up the chrome with steel wool right painted this I took them apart and I show you how to do that so the whole front of this car looks pretty much brand new all right so it's Tony I'll see you in the videos enjoy all right so we're gonna start off with the BMW grills uh, I'm going to show you how to take them off of the car. They used to be a real pain in the butt, uh, but they've gotten real easy now. Uh, you can see these little flaps here, okay? So now you used to have to take the chrome and this black apart and then basically sandwich it, one from the outside, one from the inside, uh, as you see here, right? But now, when putting this grill back after it's all painted, right, we could literally just line it up like this and just and just push in, right? And then this will just snap like that. I don't want to get it all in there, but it'll snap right into place. So it's really easy uh, to put in, okay? A lot of the older, I mean, this is an old car, but a lot of the older ones, like the E30, like 1995 and 1998 and back, they used to be a lot harder, but these, uh, I, I see that they're a lot easier. And depending on the make and model, you know, it may be different. So. All we really have to do here is get a screwdriver, right? And go in there and start lifting these and just pushing out. And that's how we take the grill out. Pretty easy, you just go around little by little uh, and we push these flaps here. You see the little flaps right in there, right? And then it pushes out. So let's go ahead and take this last one out. This way we can get ready to do our body work. All right, so we're out. All right, so I hope I don't f sound too muffled. 
Um, we took the grill out. I got my mask on because we're going to be doing some sanding. All right, we got our 240 grit on our DA orbital sander here. Okay, 240 grit because we're going to sand out all the bad clear coat, some of the imperfections I'm going to show you. Uh, then we're going to get down in here. We're going to feather out all this chip marks. Okay, feather all in here out um, and just basically cut out all the orange peel and imperfections here in the paint because this front bumper cover was painted and the hood was painted before. If we look closely into the clear, you could see some fish eye. Okay, so it was painted before. You could clearly see that, right? Um, and then also if we look in here, they actually, when they painted it, they did not remove the grills. So we can feel a big clear coat line over here and you can see a run of clear coat right in here. That's a run of clear coat. Okay, so we want to get our DA and just go over all of this, get it nice and flat so we don't feel any imperfections and, and just make it nice and level. You could see some of the body work, uh, very bad, you know, scuff marks, scratch marks in the clear coat there. And so that's the whole game. We're going to 240 the whole front end. Uh, maybe try to feather out some of these rock chips. Um, if they don't feather out, then what we'll do is fill them up with glaze putty afterwards. Okay, so the main... The main damage is basically on the front end here, right above our lenses, okay, right up here. The front bumper cover, uh, all from rock chips, right, because the guy's probably going 100 miles an hour somewhere. Uh, and then we're going to water sand the rest of the hood. Uh, there's a small dent right over here, very small imperfection of dent. If we look right in here, there's a small dent right here. Okay, you could see we're using the light. We could see that dent right in here. We're gonna fill up with Bondo. Other than that, the hood is in pretty, pretty good condition. And we're gonna go ahead and paint the whole hood with brand new base coat, clear coat, whole bumper cover, base coat, clear coat. So right now, um, what I could do is take these lenses out, but I wanna start sanding with our 240 up in here. We're gonna raise the car up. We're gonna start sanding over here. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and proceed to take these marker lights out. Uh, I want to leave it on the car in the beginning. This way we can sand and the bumper is not going to go anywhere, right? Because uh, if we take it off, it's going to be hard to hold it in place as we work on it. So I like to leave it on the car at first. We get all these areas, right? Going to have to get this area in here, flatten it out. Uh, do most of our sanding. Then we're going to remove the bumper cover, take out our lenses, and uh, take out the back uh, screen, okay, or a little grill there, and uh, prime it, glaze it, sand it, get it ready for paint, and blast it. Okay, so all we're going to paint, like I said, is the hood, front bumper, and we're going to blend it uh, to the bottom quarter panel here, the fender, the bottom part of the fender, and the door. We're going to buff the whole car out. It's going to look amazing. All right, so let's get started with our 240 grit. So you can see right away all the clear, the old clear, the high spots. Okay. Okay, so I want to pause for a second and show you how it's cutting. Okay, so you can see the old clear coat, right? You could see some of the runs here. Okay, so the goal is just to make it all flat, just like right in here. You could see that we have feathering here. That's fine. That's fine. As long as it's flat and we got no shiny areas like that, okay, like in here. Okay, so we just want to go over all around it, get it nice. So now we know that when we put a fresh paint job on it, it's going to lay on really, really well. Okay, we're going to go ahead, we're going to proceed to take out some of these rock chips down below up in here. And we're going to go across the top of the hood and just try to get all the imperfections that we see.
Okay, so I'm gonna show you a cool way to take out lights. Uh, usually BMW, right, or a lot of other cars too. Sometimes if you push it, you'll feel this spring, okay? So you gotta grab under it, push it, and it slips out, okay? Because over here, there's a, a lock, right? So you just gotta push it and take it out. It slips right out. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. Okay, now it's pretty easy. You can see that they did not take it off when they painted it the first time. It's so easy to take off. They just masked, masked it up. You could even see on the lens at the bottom that it's still red, right? So they masked it off. But now we could sand this nicely, get it done nice and professional, and then put it back. All right? Same thing with this side, all right? Okay. 